CBS 19 10 at 10, a breast cancer patient has one last dance before going under the knife. And she got all her doctors to take part in it. Look at the amazing and inspirational video coming up tonight on 10 at 10. And now on to the morning's top stories. Thanks, guys. Good morning and welcome to the CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Clint Yates. And I'm Dana Huey. A grandma and her granddaughter were getting ready to move into their newly completed home in Longview, but thieves had a different plan. The Habitat for Humanity says this home off of Carter Street in Longview was nearing its completion, but was halted when thieves ripped the air conditioning unit and copper wiring from the sides of the building. The damage will cost the organization $5,000. Executive Director Lawan Hollis says she still has faith in the project that it'll be completed. What we know, though, is that there are far more people that are loving, caring, generous, good people than there are those who intentionally do harm. Lawan says that a police report was filed, but there are no suspects. She says she believes there were at least two thieves since the AC unit weighs several hundred pounds. A Smith County man and woman have been arrested for possession and distribution of crack cocaine. Investigators found large amounts of crack cocaine, a loaded firearm, and cash in the home. Sheriff Larry Smith says the arrest were the result of an 18-month undercover drug operation. The sheriff says both suspects have extensive criminal records. They won't be released until they see a judge. Former vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin will be making a stop in Tyler on November 20th to promote her, to promote her latest book. The former Alaska governor will be at Sam's Club from 10 a.m. until noon. Palin's appearance in Tyler is a stop on the first leg of her Good Tidings and Great Joy book tour. The biggest holiday shopping event of the year in East Texas starts up again today. You're looking now at some of the style show action from the Junior League of Tyler's Mistletoe and Magic Fundraiser Thursday morning. Anthony Austin and Justin Early right there strutted down the catwalk in Hurwitz clothing. The shopping event goes through Saturday. Tickets are eight bucks. Children six and under get in for free. I think I knew that first guy, too. Yeah, my husband, too. Yeah. And those, those guys, may, they may steal them as professional <laughs> models from us. They might. They might need to try on some jackets down that uh, walkway, too. Here's Scott with our forecast. Clinton Daney, your Friday forecast around the region. Temperatures this morning in the mid to upper 40s by 8 a.m. The one theme you're going to notice today, tonight, and tomorrow, increasing mainly high-level clouds. While the lower levels of the atmosphere remain dry, we may squeeze out a sprinkle or two tomorrow afternoon, but for the most part, we're looking at dry weather today through this upcoming weekend. 62 by lunchtime today. Your high today, 67, with temps back down to around 65 as you head home to kickstart your weekend late this afternoon and early this evening. Disturbance over the Baja Peninsula will work toward the Big Bend country late tonight. Tomorrow morning, the first half of the day, start to weaken and shear itself out. The rest of the energy crosses overhead, but again, just not enough moisture for this disturbance to cause any widespread rain event on Saturday. If we see anything at all, it'll be a sprinkle or two and just that Saturday afternoon before this system weakens considerably and moves east of us by Sunday. Sets the stage for a nice day on Veterans Day Monday. Significant cold front still slated to arrive late Tuesday. Frost possible Wednesday morning. Thanks, Scott. Updates all day long at CBS19.tv.